Thanks for joining us for another month of tips, tricks, and techniques with Milwaukee's Applications team. I'm Hugo Gonzalez. And today, I'll be showing you how to print Braille with our UJF Series UV flatbed printers. We'll be using Rationing Tools, which is a plugin for Illustrator, to identify the layer with Braille. And that will automate the Braille printing process within Rationing. I'll begin with the design layout in Illustrator. Here on the left, you'll see that I've separated everything into layers for easy processing. From top to bottom, I have registration marks for cutting, cut lines, braille, and print. Within the print layer, I'm using this bright magenta as a spot color to replace with white within raster link. This will be printed on clear media, so imagine the white areas will be a see-through and the magenta areas will be white. All of my braille is in a separate layer. Right now, the braille is just a random color and I'm more concerned with size and placement. I'll go more into this in a little bit. I've placed crop marks around the image because I'll be cutting this on the Trotec Speedy 360 after the initial print. One thing to know is that Trotec works with RGB color vector art but our replacement features work with CMYK vector art. So when saving the relative files, be sure to choose the correct color space. I'll come back to this after the print. For now, let's just save and send the print file. First, I wanna turn off the braille and cut layers. Then I wanna make sure it's in CMYK mode for color replacement. When saving, I'm not using the artboard option because I wanted to capture the crop marks outside of the artboard. I'm not extending the artboard at this moment because I want the braille print to be contained within the artboard size. The first thing I wanna to do to print a file is to be sure to perform the color replacement from magenta to white. You just select the spot color and then select the replacement formula you'd like. Selecting blink indication will let you know all the areas that will be replaced. Then we'll move on to the quality tab to set the profile. And lastly, in the layout tab, I'll reverse the image for second surface printing and offset it from the edge a bit. Let's rip and print. Now that it's printed, I'll return to Adobe Illustrator to send our cut data to the Trotec Speedy 360 engraver. I'll close a print and braille layers for this. As I mentioned before, Trotec works with RGB mode vector art, so be sure you're in the right color space. I've made the lines a little thicker so that they're viewable on the screen, but I'll return them to 0 .003 point, and they should be set to RGB red, which is 25500. I'll also be removing the spot color from around the registration marks. And the marks themselves should be RGB black, which is RGB 000. I'm also going to extend the artboard to encompass the crop marks before sending. Now that it's ready, I can send the cut information to the engraver by selecting File, Print. For more information on settings, please visit Trotec's website. Now I'm going to align the cursor near one of the crop marks. And then I'm gonna snap the corresponding crop mark to the cursor within job control. I'll send the cut information by selecting the play icon. And then the camera will start to read the crop marks and begin cutting.
All right, now let's talk about setting up the Braille. Before I begin, I'd like to add a disclaimer that I'm not fluent in grade two Braille, which is the current ADA standard. First, I begin by designing and typing out my message and then changing it to the Braille font. I'm using a font that was recommended on an ADA quick reference guide that's aptly named Braille. The 24 point font size meets ADA standards for dot, character, and letting spacing. This is not included with Mimaki products. This is strictly a third party font. Once the message is created and placed where the design requires, highlight all of your Braille by selecting the Braille layer and then select type and create outlines to convert the font to vector shapes. With the layers still selected, select the Braille icon within Rationaling Tools. You'll see that it changes the Braille to a spot color named Mimaki Braille ADA. Now to save the file, turn off all other layers besides Braille and then select the Rasterlink icon. If you're working on a UJF that operates with Rasterlink 6, like the Mark IIs, this will send it directly to Rasterlink. I'm working with the UJF 7151 Plus 2, so it saves it as an EPS for easy import into Rasterlink 7. When you import the Braille file, you will see that it's different from the rest. On the right, everything is set to print conditions for Braille only. This means that you cannot edit any color or quality information. All you can review and edit is the layout information. I'm gonna be aligning the print to the lower right, so I can just rip and print as it is. And that's it. On the top left, I've listed the machines that have the automated Braille printing functionality. Please note that there are only UJF machines, Mark IIs and later. And it's all only available with LH100 ink with a clear and primer configuration. The automated printing process creates a braille dot that falls within ADA regulations of 0.6 and 0.9 millimeters, as stated on the 2010 regulations update. Please be sure to check your own state's regulations, as some states do vary from federal. After printing, this piece is ready to be installed immediately. Thanks for joining us for another month of tips, tricks, and techniques. Feel free to ask any questions. Also, if you have any applications you would like to see us create, be sure to email us at applications at mimaki.com with the subject line, TTT comments and suggestions. Thank you. And I'd like to extend a special thank you to our media and equipment partners.